What's going on everyone? It's your girl Tamil, and I am back with another WordPress tutorial. Now this time I want to show you how to create a double spacing and a single spacing inside of your blog post. And I've been having a little trouble doing this because it's been driving me crazy to figure out why I have so much white space in between each line and I couldn't correct it. So I wanna show you how you can actually correct this issue. So what you wanna do is you wanna go over here to post and open up the post that you're working inside of. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one, my daily blog post as an example. And once you open up yours, I'm gonna show you how this works. So here we are inside of a post as an example post. Typically inside of WordPress, it's by default that as you hit the enter button and you go to each line that you get what would be a single spacing. So I'm just gonna put my cursor behind the letter T and I'm gonna hit enter. I'm just gonna type hello. And after I hit enter again, you're gonna see that it jumps to like, not the line afterwards, but the line after that, which creates more of a double spacing. So I'm gonna type hello again. And you can see that it has quite a bit of space here. Now, if we look at these next two lines where you see the word R and your, you'll notice that there isn't that much space in between. This looks a little bit smaller. We want to create a single spacing where you don't have so much space in between each line. It can look a little bit weird if you put too much spacing on your blog post. Of course, you want people to be able to read it and not read a bunch of words that's jumbled. Also, at the same time, too much space just looks strange and it doesn't really look good. So I'm going to show you inside of Microsoft Word how the spacing should look. And then I'm going to show you how to do it right here in WordPress. So let's hop over to Microsoft Word. Okay, so I have a blank page right here and I'm just going to type my daily blog post. Now, if I hit enter afterwards, it goes way down, like multiple lines. So I wanna show you how to create a single spacing and what it should look like. So I'm gonna go over here to layout, and then I'm going to click this little arrow right in the corner where it says spacing. If you look down here where it says spacing for my line spacing, it has multiple. So I'm going to change that to single, single spacing. And then I'm gonna hit enter. So now, when I put my cursor behind the word T, so if I could put my cursor behind the letter T and hit enter, this is what you get, the very next line. So now I would type my daily blog post again, and I'm just using this as an example. This is how it should look going from each line, but if you look at WordPress, it doesn't do that. So I'm gonna show you how it should look. So this is a single space, and I think it's only like one point. So if I highlight it and I go over here to where it says line and paragraph spacing, yes, it's actually 1.0. And sometimes you'll have a 1.5, which is what I believe that you see in WordPress because there was too much spacing there. So we wanna keep it at a 1.0. So now let's head back over to WordPress. All right, so let me show you how this would actually look. This would be your typical line spacing that you may see inside of WordPress. I want to create a double spacing. So if I wanted to create a double spacing, if I go behind the question mark and I just hit enter, I would have about a 1.5. So I'm gonna hit the back button and I'm gonna use shift enter. And you wanna press shift and enter at the same time and you will get exactly one spacing. So this is a single space. So I don't know if you saw that, I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna go over here to where it says fortunately, and I'm gonna put the cursor in front of the F, and I'm going to show you how it would look if I just hit enter. If I hit enter, it's about 1.5 points. So it's more than a single space. If I go back and I just hit shift enter, then you'll notice that it's a single spacing. 
So that's how you would create a single spacing inside of WordPress. Now, what I would do, because I want to separate these lines, it's always good to break up a paragraph. You never wanna have a clunk of words together. I would go behind where it says engines because I want just maybe like a line and a half and I'm going to hit enter. And if you hit enter behind each one, then this is the type of spacing that you would have. So it's really up to your liking. The spacing right here is pretty, pretty good if that's what you want. But now if you don't want that much, I'm just going to go back again and I'm going to hit shift enter again, shift enter this time and you're gonna have a little bit less space. So now you can tell that there's a difference between this amount of space and this amount of space. So if we keep going, I'm going to space this entire little paragraph and I'm just gonna show you how it looks using Shift Enter. So let's hit Shift Enter here. I'm gonna hit it again because I wanna create double spacing. And I'm gonna go in front of you right here, the word you, I'm gonna hit shift enter to give one space and then I'm gonna hit shift enter again to give two spaces. So this is how I'm creating the double spacing. So now let's start with a full post or a full paragraph and I wanna move WordPress tutorial right here. I wanna move it down. So I am going to put the cursor in front of the W. I'm going to hit shift enter and I'm gonna hit shift enter again. Okay, so now once we hit shift enter, this is pretty much how that would look. So now let's scroll down and I'm going to do the rest of this section to make it look like the section above. So I am going to start right here after smart and I'm just going to do shift enter for this entire paragraph. So shift enter, shift enter, and then I am going to, in front of if, I am going to hit shift enter, shift enter, and then in front of four, I'm gonna do shift enter, shift enter. So for me, this is how a paragraph would look for me. And of course, after this section, I would more than likely put an image, a picture to break up the paragraph so that there's not too many of these lines. And this is how it would actually look. So I showed you how to create a single spacing. You can just hit shift enter one time to create a double spacing. You would hit shift enter twice. I would not recommend just hitting enter twice because if you just hit enter twice you're going to get a ton of space like this enter enter you would have this much space in between your words so this is how much space you would have in between each line which i think is quite a bit so everyone this is how you create a single spacing and a double spacing in wordpress that looks fairly neat there's not too much white space it's readable and as you add more images to your blog post you break it up very well you'll have a very well balanced blog post all right, guys, so that's my video for you today. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And also make sure that you check out my other video, which is how to add a WordPress feature image to your blog post. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.